are back with Peasant Chef. I'm going to show you how to make apple cobbler. We start out with eight medium-sized apples peeled and cored. You can use any apples you like. Today we're using Honeycrisp and Red Delicious simply because that's what we picked fresh on the farm yesterday. We're also going to be using about one cup each of sugar and flour and milk, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of allspice, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Here I have my saucepan. It's heated to medium. To that, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of butter. Now, in go my apples. I'm gonna give this a stir, and I'm just going to let it cook down so the apples get soft and tender. To this, we add our sugar. And all our spices. Mm, smells great. This is a great dish. Really, you can have any time of the year, and you can use any fruit you like. We're using apples now here, like I said, because they're fresh this season. So we're just going to let this cook down for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, you want to make your crust. A crust for a cobbler is different from a crust from a pie. It's more like a biscuit dough. So what we did is we started out with, like I said, about one cup of milk, one cup of self-rising flour, one medium egg. I also melted one stick of butter, and I also put in about one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. That's going to help it rise. And then you just mix it up really well. I'm making my cobbler today and these little individual ramekins, but you can also make it in one big casserole. Okay, so now let's check on the apples. They look great. We have all the spices and the butter melted in. It's really cooking down nicely. So you don't have to cook these completely because you're going to bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. We just wanna make it just a little bit soft and tenderize it somewhat. So now these are ready. I'm going to pour the apple mixture right into the ramekin. Mm. Reminds me of grandma. And right on top goes your crust mixture. You just pour this everywhere. And what happens is as it bakes, the crust becomes hard and it also rises to the top so that your apples and your sauce are going to be beneath it. So this goes in a 375 degree preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. So now we're going to check on our cobbler. It's been in the oven on 375 for about 35 minutes. Let's see what's going on. Mmm, this smells really good. Oh, they're perfect. It's bubbling and crispy and ready to come out. 